This is the most exhaustive list of electric motorcycles on the planet. Yep, every electric motorcycle that operates on a minimum of 72 volts and delivers at least a 50 mile per hour top speed is right here. And not only is this video ordered by price, but I also went through the hassle of converting everything back to the good old US dollar. And since everything's ordered by price, as the price goes up, so will the top speed. So be sure to stick around till the end to see the fastest motorcycles on the planet. And starting our price journey at just $1,000 is the Revolt RV1 from India. This electric motorcycle is designed primarily for urban commuting, offering a top speed of about 52 miles an hour. With a 2.2 kilowatt hour battery, it provides a range of about 62 miles. Other things that make this more motorcycle-like include its conventional chain drive system, the all-around LED lights, and a six inch digital LCD that provides essential ride information. It also offers built-in wireless storage and boasts one of the longest seats in its class, ensuring comfort for a rider and a passenger if you want. But enough about a thousand dollar electric motorcycle. Continuing our price journey at $1,695 is the Pure EV E-Tris 350, an electric motorcycle built for urban commuting and offering a top speed of 58 miles per hour. And if this isn't fast enough, don't worry. There's motorcycles on this list that go 120, 150, even 200 miles an hour. So stick around because up next is the Ola Roadster, an 80 mile per hour electric motorcycle with a $2,500 converted price. Designed for city and highway use, the Olaf Roadster features a powerful motor, a 72 volt system and three battery options, 3.5, 4.5 and 6 kilowatt hours. Not only that, but it provides about 154 miles of range on a single charge, as well as a seven inch TFT touchscreen display and a design and build quality that is out of this world. Next up, we have the Ultraviolet F77 Mach 2, an electric motorcycle priced at about 300,000 Indian rupees or about 3,600 USD. This high performance bike boasts a top speed of about 96 miles an hour and a range of 131 miles for the 7.1 kilowatt hour battery version. If you need more range, you can upgrade to 10.3 kilowatt hours and get 200 miles of range. The Mach 2 also features an all-aluminum IP67 rated enclosure that provides excellent protection against water and dust. This waterproofing is so good, you can easily ride through challenging conditions like deep water. Next on our list from France, but available for sale in the US, is the Calibri M22 an electric motorcycle with a top speed of 56 miles an hour and a price tag of $4,399. On top of that, the M22 has a very interesting modular battery system where you can hold up to three batteries. And perhaps even cooler than that is the M22's folding mechanism that allows you to fit it in places as small as an elevator. And next up is the Yatri Project One, an electric motorcycle from Nepal priced at 585,000 Nepalese rupees or about 4,400 US dollars. The bike is designed mainly with urban commuting in mind, but this thing is also off-road worthy. And with a top speed of 62 miles an hour, you can also get this thing up on the highway. And this is the Beachman Aviator another electric motorcycle that barely makes the list with a 50 mile per hour top speed and a price tag of $45.99. Yeah, this sleek ride packs plenty of punch without breaking the bank. It's got a retro vibe, but underneath that vintage exterior is all modern electric muscle, perfect for cruising around the city in style. But it might not have the roar of a gas engine, but it's quiet confidence speaks volumes. It's a laid back cruiser that doesn't need to shout. It just lets its modest performance and visual appeal do the talking. Next up and mainly for sale on the Thai market, we have the fellow FW07 priced locally at 168,900 baht 
or roughly equivalent to 4,900 USD, this e motorcycle is the first on our list that operates on a 96 volt battery system. And it also has a 58 amp hour lithium battery, which gives it a range of about 75 miles. And the FW07 even has type two charging capabilities, which will allow it to fully charge in just five hours. And don't hate me for putting this on this electric motorcycle list, but this is the Eohora Knight M1PS, a 72 volt motorcycle with its 4,000 watt motor, ape hanger handlebars, and a chopper frame. The M1PS scoffs at the idea of being boxed into one category. Whether you're tearing down the road at 50 miles an hour or cruising in gear one like a law abiding citizen, this beast is here to make an impression. So call it what you will. Bumping up the top speed and price tag a little bit, we have the V-Moto TC Max with a $5,500 converted price and a 60 mile per hour top speed. This electric motorcycle comes from V-Moto's headquarters in Perth, Australia, but it's definitely got a European cafe racer soul. The TC Max combines vintage styling with modern tech, giving you the best of both worlds. Whether you're zipping through city streets or taking it on the open roads, it's got enough speed to keep things interesting and still be eco-friendly. And perhaps one of the most futuristic, dystopian looking electric motorcycles on this list is the fellow FW03. The company is based out of Hong Kong and the motorcycle is on sale in Italy and a few other markets. With a local price of 5,590 euro or converted to about 5,700 USD, you get a 50 mile per hour top speed and a 72 volt operating system. This is the Cake Osa, an electric motorcycle specifically designed for urban community and other utility purposes. It has a top speed of 58 miles per hour and a price of $5,900. And if you heard recently that Cake went out of business, they did file for bankruptcy, but with designs this good, it was only a matter of time before a Norwegian automotive company bought them up and are now planning their worldwide distribution. In fact, you can even buy the Cake Osa in USD on their website. But for just $95 more, you could get a hold of the Rivet Outset, a California-based electric motorcycle that starts at $59.95. Now this is a pretty sweet alternative for people that are looking for a 125cc motorcycle. It has a 75 mile per hour top speed, and of course, it operates on that 72 volt battery system with a 4.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that is easily removable. Once inside, the battery can be charged to 80% in about 2.3 hours using a standard 110 volt outlet, which will deliver a range of about 70 miles on a full charge. And for just $4 more than that, you can get your hands on the Sunra Miku Super, which is for sale in the United States. The $59.99 price tag delivers a 55 mile per hour top speed. And of course this thing works on a 72 volt system. The battery pack helps deliver a range of 84 miles, and in order to get a full charge, you need about four hours. Now the Terra Prime is an electric motorcycle that starts at $6,000 and has a 65 mile per hour top speed. The company is based out of Western Colorado in the United States, and of course this electric motorcycle operates on 72 volts with options for 50 and 65 amp hour battery capacities. The Terra Prime has an estimated 70 mile range and is available directly to consumers through the Terra Bikes website. And if you're still with me and feeling about 500 bucks spendier, we have another entry from Rivet, the Rivet Anthem. Also working on a 72 volt system, the Anthem gets 75 miles per hour and a range of also about 75 miles. That's thanks to the 4.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. It truly is a modern motorcycle with practical features that appeal to a wide variety of riders. I think this bike is really efficient and stylish. And also coming in at $64.95 is this honorable mention, the Maving RM1. And the reason I say it's an honorable mention is because of that 45 mile per hour top speed. 
but don't worry, we're gonna feature another motorcycle from this brand with a 70 mile per hour top speed in just a minute. And in case you guys didn't think I'd talk about it, this is the highly anticipated yet still defunct Saunders Metacycle. And there are no updates on this project since I last reported on it, but I just hope that Saunders sells this design or gets his act together and gets this bike out there because truthfully, I really wanna see it on the road. Now enough speaking ill of the dead. Black Tea Motorbike out of Germany have been hard at work with their Black Tea Bonfire, which now has a 71 mile per hour top speed and 6,000 euro or 6,500 USD price tag. And bringing in probably one of the best prices on a genuine highway capable electric motorcycle is the CSC RX1E, available for only $69.95. Not only is this on the much more impressive 96 volt battery system, but it features a 64 amp hour lithium battery, which helps deliver a range of 112 miles. The company is based out of Azusa, California and is for sale directly through their website. It comes with three modes, eco, comfort, and sport, and it even has a reverse gear. And also coming in at $69.95 and very proudly Cleveland-based is the Land Moto District, an electric motorcycle that is winning accolades for its design and attention to detail. It features a 70 mile per hour top speed, four riding modes to choose from, and the total weight is around 200 pounds. It offers a flexible riding experience for beginners and seasoned riders alike. And for about $300 more, you could get an electric motorcycle with an 80 mile per hour top speed. Based out of Vietnam, the N1S is built to tackle challenges of modern city driving, and it's also meant to look good while doing so. Overall, the design prioritizes rider comfort and practicality. And while we're on the topic of new and moto, this is their new e-concept. It doesn't have an official price tag, but its innovative design and features are generating significant buzz in the electric motorcycle community. The new E emphasizes a minimalist aesthetic while prioritizing performance and efficiency. And here's a sneak peek of a 124 mile per hour hubless motorcycle that you have to stick around to see. But first, at $7,500, converted up from 7,000 euros and available in European and Asian markets is the Yadia Keenness. Operating on that 72 volt battery system and delivering a peak output of 10 kilowatts or about 14 horsepower, the Keenness can deliver an impressive 300 newton meters of torque directly to the wheel. The design of the Keenness is inspired by fighter jets, featuring sharp lines and an aggressive stance it really does appeal to younger riders. And speaking of appealing to younger riders, this next one is the BMW CEO2, which I actually had a chance to see in person a few months ago. And not only is this electric motorcycle made for a younger generation, but BMW went as far as naming it the e park <laughs> which may sound unfortunate, but Gen Z and younger may just love that name. Who knows? Price in the US starts at $75.99. But if you're in the European market, you can get your hands on the fellow FW06 for about $200 more with a converted price of about $7,800. The top speed is 70 miles per hour thanks in part to the 96 volt battery system and 10 kilowatt motor. There are two driving modes, normal and sport, allowing you to choose between efficiency or performance. The instant torque enables a rapid acceleration from 0 to 30 miles an hour in just 1.7 seconds. In fact, the FW06 combines sporty design with practical features, making it a great choice for urban commuters looking for style and capability. Now don't think for a second Kawasaki wasn't going to throw their name into the hat. This is the Ninja E1, an electric motorcycle with a $7,899 price tag and a 65 mile per hour top speed. On top of that, this well-known Japanese motorcycle has a removable 30 amp hour battery pack and two riding modes to choose from. 
making it a great choice for riders looking to get their first taste of an electric motorcycle. But if that design is a little too passe for you, why not step into the future with the Naxion I Am? For a dollar shy of 8,000 bucks, you get a 75 mile per hour top speed and a range that's estimated at 112 miles. Or for a dollar more, but with five miles slower top speed, you can get the V-Moto Stash. Available in Europe and really hot in the UK, this light electric motorcycle runs on a 72 volt battery system and has a 100 amp hour battery pack totaling 7.2 total kilowatt hours of juice. And with that much juice, you can expect a range of about 93 miles. Also available for sale in Europe for 8,000 euro or about 8,600 USD is the RQI from NEO. Based on a 72 volt battery system, Powered by two 36 amp hour lithium batteries, you get over 5,000 watt hours of juice that can deliver up to 125 miles of range. And to top it off, you get 7,500 watts of peak output that deliver 450 newton meters of torque to the wheels. And they don't really have a lot of marketing footage on this one, but you can see this is the Black Tea Wildfire from Germany. And see it has a about 155 mile range and a 80 mile per hour top speed or 130 kilometers. And then if you look down here, we have two six kilowatt hour battery packs that give us that range. And then we also have five liters of storage, a type two charging connector. And if you go to order it, the price starts at 8,190 euros. And for a couple hundred bucks more, we have the RM1S from the previously mentioned Maving Motors. The top speed on this model is 70 miles per hour. And that comes thanks to the 11 kilowatt peak output motor that roughly translates to about 15 horsepower. But one of my favorite things about this motorcycle has to be the paint jobs on the tank. But wait, we've still got so many more electric motorcycles to go, most of which cost over $10,000 and some of which get over 100 miles per hour. But I need your help to, to finish the video. If this video gets over 1,000 likes, I'll know you want me to make the long haul to the finish line and keep delivering you these electric motorcycles. So do me a favor and like this video right now. And if this video does have a thousand likes, you'll see part two right here.